one of the things they are attacking her about is the Clinton Foundation and the, the big speaking fees her husband, the former president, takes, and then the big foreign donations, including some that didn't seem to fit with the rules she agreed to when she became Secretary of State. I want you to listen to Bill Clinton yesterday. He's talking to Cynthia McFadden of NBC News. He's on a trip to Africa for the Clinton Foundation. And he's asked here about his speaking fees, including, remember, one of the big controversial ones is a $500,000 speaking fee from a Moscow bank at the very time that bank was part of a deal to get a, a uranium deal for the Russian government. Will you continue to give speeches? Oh, yeah. I, I got to pay our bills. I also give a lot of it to the foundation every year. This one here, we give Bill Clinton a lot of credit for his political skills. Uh, I got to pay our bills? Uh, uh, the Arkansas governor didn't make a lot of money. As president, he had a pretty good salary. I understand they weren't rich when they left the White House. But I got to pay our bills? Remember when Bill was going to take a back seat to all of this? It wasn't really going to be giving interviews. <laughs> it was just a couple of weeks ago. Anytime the Clintons are talking about their personal wealth, it's going to be a problem right now, especially when you're saying things like, we have to pay the bills. I, I don't think that's on the top things they're worrying about. I don't think that's going to make he, a He's top not ten. known for being so tone deaf, although and I covered him for a long time. And every now and then when he gets tired, uh, he says some numbingly stunning things. <laughs> well, you know, uh, tired, but also this is something very personal to them. This right. is something where they've, they've been sort of on the defensive for a really long time. And so you're seeing the flashes of temper that typically get Bill Clinton in trouble.